the daytime. I'm Cindy Edwards. We have got a fun show coming up. How about we take a look inside our green room and check in on some of our daytime guests. Look at them all sitting there so so well behaved. Our green expert Kim Button is here. She's going to tell us all about all the chemicals that are contained in our toothpaste. I think she's sharing that information right now with other guests. Rabbi Elaine Glickman has tips to help us get our kids to understand the true meaning of the holidays. We have two women from the Monique Burr Foundation for Children. They're going to talk about eradicating child abuse and so much more. We've got a lovely author who's going to tell us how to find our passion. Oh my goodness, so much coming up. Lots going on today. First, we're going to kick the... Hearing just one report about child abuse is one too many. Sadly, the U.S. has 3.2 million reports of abused or neglected children each year. The Monique Burr Foundation for Children is on a mission to change that. This nonprofit is taking steps to prevent abuse and implement intervention programs. Mary McDonald and Stacy Pendarvis are here to tell us about the Speak Up, Be Safe program. Good to have you both here. Yes. Um, Mary, I want to start with you. Speak Up, Be Safe. Tell us about this. Speak Up, Be Safe is a comprehensive research-based program targeted to first through fifth graders. So it's a program in elementary schools that is designed to empower children and the adults in their lives to prevent child abuse and bullying. The problem is still very significant. Is it on the rise or are things getting better as far as bullying goes? Both on the rise and we're hopeful that with implementing programs like this we're going to see changes. Okay, I know that there are five Speak Up Be Safe safety rules, and I'm going to let you both help us go through some of these. Let's go with number one. Number one is, it's my body. Okay, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Self Kids have to realize that's their domain. That's their domain. If anyone does anything to make them uncomfortable, they need to, we need to move on to the other rules. But yes, it's my body. Okay, rule number two. Uh, I have choices. Ask an adult if I have safe. Uh, ask an adult if I am safe. I have choices. Um, tell, we're moving right along. Right, we are. Tell someone, and it's never my fault. That's so true. It's so true. Now, is this being implemented across the country? Yes. Speak Up, Be Safe is a prevention curriculum that was developed with collaboration through Child Health, a national organization, and Arizona State University. And the Monique Burr Foundation for Children has the license to distribute it throughout Florida, which we are currently doing, and other states is being implemented by Child Health. Okay, so you've got some stats here that are alarming. 93% of children aged between the ages of 12 and 17 have unmonitored online access. Correct. 93%? Yes, and when we're in classrooms and you ask kids how many of you are online and, and going in chat rooms, things like that, all hands go up pretty much. So it's, it's, very, it's a very widespread. Okay, and every day 77 million children are using the internet. And of the children between the ages of 10 and 17, one out of seven will be sexually solicited online. Yes. So is this happening even when the parents have the, the, the maybe they've got the computer in the common room and, and then maybe they put the controls on the computer and this is still happening? Yes. It's, well, it's something too that a parent, what we are here to do is hopefully let parents know we have a huge range of resources on our website and how to talk about this with your child. Um, there's never, you can't share too much with your child and tell them, once again, if they're uncomfortable in any way, even online, mm -hmm. even on the phone, I mean, there's sexting that's going on, there are all kinds of things that happen and children will admit when they're asked finally that, you know, they've even partaken in something on the phone, but they need to be able to talk to an adult, tell someone, and also feel that they're safe and that they will be believed. Mm -hmm. That's a big part of it, too. The great thing about this prevention curriculum is we know it addresses all types of abuse. It addresses physical abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, and neglect. It also addresses bullying, cyberbullying, and all types of technology safety. So we're giving kids technology today that we never had, but this program is educating them how to use it safely. And really quickly, this is startling. Of teachers, 25% see nothing wrong with bullying and consequently intervene in only 4% of bullying incidents. And another great thing about this program is it not only educates students, but there are built-in features that educate the relevant adults in their lives. So there's take-home materials that go home to parents, and we're educating teachers as well. So they're getting educated with the program and empowered to help the kids. And so if any adult, there's plenty they can do. They can go to our website for more information. They can ask the schools in their district if the program is being implemented. And if it's not being implemented, they can contact our website for more information on how to do that. Okay. 
Okay, Mary McDonald and Stacy Pendervis from the Monique Burr Foundation. We will put your link on our website, daytimeonline.tv. Thank you both very much. Thank you so much.